वेलकम ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट मॉड्यूल नंबर एट फॉर द प्रोग्राम फर्स्ट ईयर बी एस सी एग्रीकल्चर ऑनर्स फॉर द सब्जेक्ट एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग फॉर सेकेंड सेमिस्टर द कोर्स कोड इज इंजीनियरिंग वन टू वन एंड टाइटल ऑफ द कोर्स इज सॉयल एंड वाटर कॉन्जर्वेशन इंजीनियरिंग द नेम ऑफ द मॉड्यूल इज गली डेवलपमेंट क्लासिफिकेशन एंड कंट्रोल मेजर्स टेम्पररी गली कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर्स आई एम प्रोफेसर विनोद अतकरी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डॉन बॉस्को कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर सिलकोर्ना के पे गोवा द आउटलाइन ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल इज द गली रोजन गली डेवलपमेंट एंड स्टेजेस ऑफ गली डेवलपमेंट गली कंट्रोल मेजर्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल द स्टूडेंट्स विल एबल टू लर्न अबाउट हॉट इज मीन बाय गली रोजन हाउ गली आर डेवलप्ड एंड हाउ गली आर स्टेबल्ड एंड डिफरेंट गली कंट्रोल मेजर्स we'll see about the gully erosion what is mean by gully erosion it is the removal of soil by excessive concentration of the running water resulting in the formation of the channels ranging in the size of 30 cm to 10 m or even more size gully erosion is an advanced and last stage of real erosion after real erosion this gullies are formed and it cannot be recorded by our normal tillage practices or farm operations gully development gullies are developed step by step first scoring of the soil particle from bottom and sides up by flowing the water next waterfall erosion at the gully head this waterfall erosion is happening which results the cutting of the soil next sliding or mass movement of the soil from the gully bank there are different stages of gully development there are four stages that is formation stage development stage healing stage and stabilization stage formation stage means it comprises of channel erosion by downward score of the top soil means from real to gully next is the development stage it consists of upstream movement of the gully head and enlargement of the gully in width and depth also so two types of erosions are there waterfall erosion and channel erosion waterfall erosion is at the head and channel erosion at the bed of the gullies next is the healing stage during healing stage the vegetation or grasses begins to grow in the gully so the gully is stabilized at final stage that is stabilization stage stabilization takes place when gully reaches stable gradient the gully walls gully walls reach a stable slope and vegetative cover spreads over the gully surface gully control measures control by vegetations so like uh, grasses or some uh, bushes we can grow to reduce the soil scoring reduces it will reduce the flow velocity by increasing hydraulic resistance of the channel section control by structures the structures are constructed to check the velocity or to reduce the velocity of flowing water in gully are known as check dams check dams are used for controlling the runoff and soil erosion especially from the small and medium gullies the classification of this gully control structures we can call as that structure as a check dams as it check the velocity or reduce the velocity check dams are classified into two types basically temporary check dams and permanent check dams temporary check dams has two types brushwood dams and semi permanent dams again this permanent check dams has three types major types drop spillway drop inlet spillway and shoot spillway we will see all these dams in details in further slides first is the temporary check dam so brushwood check dams preferred in where areas where woods are readily available as it given in names wood check dams so wood is required for construction of these dams single row brushwood dam here these dams are constructed of single rows of uh, post of that woods which is constructed across the gully with the bushwood material along that gully so keeping the butt ends towards the upstream sides before starting the construction of this single row brushwood dams the sides of the gully slopes uh, will make as a one one as to one and gully bed should be excavated for the depth of 15 cm across the entire width so it will be properly constructed as shown in this uh, diagram the loose earth is piled on the this upstream side and will give the one as to one uh, slope to prevent the direct sinking of the water 
on dam. The wooden post of 10 centimeter diameter are used to, uh, for construction and the distance between these two posts is 90 to 120 centimeter and up to the uh, 75 centimeter will put this uh, post into the ground. Next uh, double row brushwood dam. These dams are suitable for 2 to 2.5 meter deep and 6 meter wide gullies with contributing watershed area of about 40 hectare. It requires more wooden post and extra labor cost also. It is superior than single row brushwood dams as it, it has double rows. It will catch more, uh, more water and its stability is also good. For construction of this check dam, a trench of 90 centimeter wide and 30 centimeter deep is dug across the gully. Here also we are maintaining the 1s to 1 side slope. After digging a trench wooden post of 15 centimeter diameter we can use and we are placing this post at 180 centimeter apart from each other and we are putting in soil up to 75 centimeter in that gully bed. As shown is in this diagram this type of uh, brushwood dams are there double row brushwood dams and in between these two posts we are putting this brushwood material so that water can be stored here in this side. Next dam semi permanent structures. So these structures are semi permanent not permanent it will be uh, uh, as it is for many years. So first is the loose rock, loose rock dam. So uh, this type of construction are very effective in gully control. These dams are preferred in that areas where the plenty of rocks and stones are available in nearby. So we can go for this type of construction. So as shown in this diagram in this gully we are putting this we are making small trench and putting the stones so that water will be stored here. And the stones are kept across the gully width and it is anchored with the wire netting of galvanized wire so that it will not flush out in rainy season. Next type is the netting dam. As shown in this diagram we can use a wire netting to form a this type of check dams. These are usually located near the top end of the gullies. These dams consist of wooden posts which are driven into the gully to support the strip of this wire to form a low wall across the gully. The height of this dam is up to 60 centimeter. Log check dam. When the large size timbers are readily available we can go for this type of dam. Vertical post of 10 cm diameter can be used and 2 meter in length are used. The spacing between the each row is 1 meter. These are the references. Thank you.